cutting down some trees and carp. Got one right there on the corner of the shed. The bucket truck. And that big one right there on the back side of the house there on the right hand side by hand. And that big one in the back yard by hand. Hand climbing. Probably can't tell because there's about 40 pine trees there, but we're taking three out today. Show them what you got. Uh, I brought some awesome saws. 500 iron, my 394 off of the ones out back. I'm just dumping the saws and cutting some logs. Alright. Alright, let's get moving. Yep. Alright, speed is up there. Got the chipper warm enough now, about to start chipping some of that brush. So tree number one's on the ground. Forgot to film the butt going over, but that happens. Nice and flat. Measuring these out so they fit on the truck nice. And it's on to the ones on that side of the yard. So the reason, even though that log was well within the capacity of this machine, the reason we use both is because, even though it's kind of hard to see it on camera, there's quite a slope here, and the way this machine is, it doesn't have the uh, wides on it yet, because you can, we're going to plan, is throw spacers in there, so it gets a bit wider, but the machine's stability overall is pretty good, but in a situation like that, it's just not worth the stress and the risk to do that, so we use both machines, and it is less wear on the machine, but the main purpose of it is just to make sure you have good stability, and you're not going to struggle. Because two is better than one. So that tree is wrapped up, you just reset the log right there. And next we have this tall pine next to the house, and that tall pine behind the house. We're gonna start with the one next to the house, we're gonna throw the GoPro on for that. Should be a good one. Oh my. Where's the crane? Oh yeah. I didn't rent it for this one. Why? I don't know. What was the thing? That's right. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Bag, I brought it out. Yo. Where are you? Here we go. 
chunks away. So I haven't been filming as much because it's a bit hard right now. It's only two people and it's kind of hot out, but tree number two on the ground, about to go up tree number three. Tree number three is a lot more open. The other one is right over the house. We had to rig quite a bit of that out. ATX to grade on that. Boxer, chunks, we're all shut down right now because no point in burning fuel. So out there talking to the client, getting ready to do the next tree. We're in no rush today. It's the only job we have today, but that one next and we'll be out of here all right so he is up in the third and final tree for today some big ones today the first one was not bad at all second two though they were big and this one you could tell from the outside but you couldn't tell the extent from the outside you could definitely tell there was some rot in here but that right there because how sandy the soil is here there he is all the way at the top, ready to send that. Only took, uh, I think 15 minutes to get up there, not even. Yeah, you were fast, I timed it. Here she goes. Wrapped up, just have that big stand butt left. Pull up the boxer, set up the block pulley because hard to pull from right here, it would hit. But locks on there, pulling in a different direction, but the rope is still being pulled this way. Oh. 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 Oh.